is doing the same thing as Andrew Tate is doing because he's mm. talking about, you know, having this might. Yeah. It's just money and violence. violence. yeah. Right? And, you know, we saw the documentary, the Andrew Tate documentary on Vice, mm -hmm. too. Vice is just exposing it all. Vice, I love I'm gonna, that. I've I'm always just gonna... loved Vice. Yeah, me too. You know, but... I, and in that, that was insane. And I, mm -hmm. and that's the also just like feeding into that male ego of mm -hmm. you need to be a fighter yeah. to defend your woman's honor. Mm -hmm. If you're training to be a UFC fighter because you are about to get into a fight to defend your woman's honor <laughs> on the street. I grew up in the hood. I grew up yeah. in the projects. There is no fair fight on the street. Yeah. Ever. I think we know, like, there's people just going around shooting up everything. I, I, B besides guns, mm -hmm. there's no fair fight on the street. Mm -hmm. Also, you, why are you fighting on the street? This where, is the, and where are you? Where are we going with society? Like, th backwards, clearly. You should not be thinking, oh, I need to be a fighter. I need to start taking kickboxing lessons because I want to make sure that if I if I get into it, <laughs> I'm I'm, low, I'm I'm ready to go. I'm ready yeah. to you know, potentially kill somebody and go to jail Yeah. because I hit somebody the wrong way, which mm -hmm. I know, we know two friends is that that's mm -hmm. happened to where they literally just hit somebody the wrong way and mm -hmm. they died Yeah. and went to jail for years. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it, and also it's just never, it's never a fair fight. It's never mm -hmm. a fair fight. If you're in a bad part of, of a bad neighborhood mm -hmm. and you think you're about to get into a one-on-one -on -one fight with somebody, mm -hmm. you're, just wrong you're yeah. gonna get jumped yeah. like just don't go into bad neighborhoods how about just have the mental fortitude to not do that or and not think oh i need to put myself in a dangerous situation yeah. to prove you know get out of dangerous situations or like be a an adult yeah be a mature human being be 100%. someone you know a woman is much more attracted to a man who can diffuse a situation than a man who incites violence Nobody likes that. Yeah. No one likes that. Yeah, I, I, I've never, I've never known a woman to say, "Oh, I." I wish you would fight more. Yeah, I wish you would <laughs> fight more. I wish you were a UFC fighter. That's yeah. that's what fucking turns me on. Yeah, I've it, never, I've really never, not that you know, I'm saying anything bad about fighters, and not that I'm saying anything bad about martial arts. I'm a sensei. Judo. Yeah. I'm a black belt. I taught judo for years. It's. It's in the background, but it's even it's judo means the gentle way. It's about like using the, you know, it's, it's self-defense. Right. This is being aggressive. I, I don't see any problem with self-defense, mm -hmm. but yeah, the rhetoric that the Andrew Tate people put, put out is, is you need money violent. and you need to be violent and you need to be violent mm -hmm. and you need to have, and it's, you know, that's what makes you a man. That's mm -hmm. what makes you an alpha. Well, you need I to be really... Able to, I hope these people are seeing where that gets you. I think, I think, the, no, I don't think they are. Not at all. Really? No. Yeah, because they're just like, oh, someone's taking them down. So they're against us. They're against us. It's the Matrix. Mm -hmm. He did nothing wrong. Yeah. That's what he was saying when he got arrested. He said the Matrix is, is attacking me. Like, what? The Matrix is attacking me. And I really don't, this is the thing. See, I really don't want to seem like I'm being obnoxious and offensive because... To be honest, this is probably a miserable, mixed up guy. And wasn't he in that um that training? Which training? Like to like picking up girls and stuff. Oh yeah, Cause, you know. So I have a friend. I have a lot of friends with um that community, that RSD. Mm -hmm. Not not people that are taking the courses. Yeah, I'm talking like about people running, that run it. Yeah. Um. And yeah, they told me that he was. Uh, mm -hmm. One of these people that came to their yeah. little boot camps or whatever, and he yeah. was a complete amateur, mm -hmm. you know, like a, just a novice at it. He wasn't very good yeah. at picking up girls. Mm -hmm. and, and he probably got so frustrated. And I get it. Got frustrated. And I, I, I understand. I have, it's hard. I'm bisexual. I, I know. Yeah. Women are not easy. Women aren't easy to approach. I feel bad for those guys. I really feel bad for any guy that's having that type of issue mm -hmm. and is on a uh, yeah it's a it sucks mm -hmm. to feel like you're not confident and you feel like you're missing something or mm -hmm. feel like you've always just missed something in your life mm -hmm. because a lot of these guys you know they've gone through their life 
they're not like in high school they're past that yeah. and they've gone through their life wondering mm -hmm. what is it about these people that mm -hmm. they're able to be successful with women mm -hmm. what do i not have and feeling inadequate yeah. and then so, they have women being really nasty to them because that yeah. is something because women are very fed up with being approached all the time so a lot of times it's like this immediate you know when a man comes up to them it's just like get away from it like women feel very comfortable being aggressively mean to guys when they're even just looking in their direction. And I do think that that's what, like, m people should stop being aggressive, but also people, like, women, you know, you know, and I don't want to say just men and women and, you know, straight, whatever, but I guess if we're talking Andrew Tate, then we're kind of, I guess, talking straight? I don't know. I mean, he seems to hate women so much. I don't know that we're talking just straight men here, but... I think Andrew Tate's gay, closet gay. I'm not saying he's closet gay. I'm just saying if every time you have sex with a woman, you need to rape them and you hate them so much to the point where you're making your money off of having other men hate women, are you sure you want to be with women? Yeah. If you really hate women so much? But I think that women could be a little nicer when they're approached. And that my and you know I feel bad being you know it's hard as a woman you're always this target of rape literally you just walk around a potential rape victim at all times you never know um, you hear so many horrifying stories like you know you have police departments emailing people I saw just the other day like some email it was like oh if there's a child crying in the street and they ask you to take them to this address do not take them to that address take them immediately to the police station because this is how this gang is raping women is by getting you know where, where is this happening um i think it was in florida that's unbelievable yeah but this is the this is the type of thing like you see this stuff all the time like oh this is how you get out of a you know Handcuffs. Like hang, zip ties, whatever. Or, you know, if you see money on your dashboard, don't get out of the car. Mm. Um, if someone puts a shopping cart behind your car, don't get out of the car to move it. Like, what do you do? Like, it's just this constant looming fear. But right. um, so it's hard to get out of that um, resentment. Immediate, immediate and immediate reaction. Of, yeah, like know. get away from me. You yeah, know, yeah. but it's, it's adding to the problem. And I think people need to realize that it's adding to the problem because you never but... know like how much this, they might be like a, just this sweet guy that is just like and on the usually verge. Are, but, and you know, well, no, they're not usually. Mm -hmm. And that's, and that's the problem because mm -hmm. the sweet, nice guys don't approach. They're yeah. usually approached by fucking assholes mm -hmm. that say some crazy shit or whatever. And they yeah. have the instinctual reaction of like, Oh, okay, get away from me. Mm -hmm. But you know, and that's, but those are the ones that have the backbone to, t they know, they don't care that they're going to get that initial reaction and then they eat it and then they just keep talking. And then when the girl realizes, okay, he's not backing down, blah, 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 then it's fine. But it actually is the nice ones because some nice guys do approach. It's just that when they're approaching, it's palpably uncomfortable. Like you, and you feel comfortable being like, get away from me and it's like a joke and then girls will laugh about it but it's just like is that turning these guys into andrew tate fans uh yeah i mean i think it's it's mess it's uh it's messed up but um i think it's just it's just got to be a part of stepping up mm -hmm. you know it's just got to be a part of stepping up as a man you, i'm not you saying need that they shouldn't approach yeah and and well it's not about i'm saying dealing with that you shouldn't res you shouldn't take that so personally mm -hmm. because it is and you, you made a really good point they do have this intrinsic like get away from me mm -hmm. because of how many people have approached them and mm -hmm. have been assholes mm -hmm. or have you know or said just something because you, and, you know, know what they want and they rejected them mm -hmm. that's another thing mm -hmm. that a lot of these fucking assholes do oh yes and you you have to you have to realize that the that most women are at that point so mm -hmm. You know, don't don't take that to heart. Some some girl, you know, you never know. You never mm -hmm. know what you're gonna get. And this mm -hmm. is 
and again, I, I feel bad for the type of people that fall into the whole Andrew Tate thing because mm-hmm. it's very easy to because this kind of thing is hard. You know, approaching even in social situations is a little bit hard. Mm-hmm. And it's, you know, it might be traumatizing yeah. to, to, you know, you have to put yourself out there and potentially get rejected, mm-hmm. but you never know. And it's, I think it's a large, a large part of it is just, I'm not expecting anything, mm-hmm. right? You can't just stop fighting reality. You know, it's like one of the core concepts of Zen and Buddhism. Like mm-hmm. there is a reality. Mm-hmm. And when you're trying to impose yourself on that reality, you're fighting mm-hmm. against reality. You have mm-hmm. to go with reality mm-hmm. because if you are, hyping yourself up and you're just like oh i'm gonna do this approach and you approach some girl who just found out her dog just died Mm -hmm. you have no chance of Mm -hmm. having a good interaction Mm -hmm. or something just happened to her and she's just like like she just got out of she just had a bad breakup or some guys get the fuck away from me like whatever Mm -hmm. and she might she's not thinking that you are this like sweet guy that's coming up Mm -hmm. and putting himself out there she's just in her own She's in her own head. Mm-hmm. And you shouldn't take that to heart. You shouldn't internalize that. You shouldn't say, what does this say about me? What did I do wrong? You mm-hmm. know, just, you just, I mean, you just got to be able to let that go. Mm-hmm. And like you were saying, a lot of girls have the instant reaction of, um, you know, get away from me. But being able to just be like, oh, you know, I just wanted to meet you. Like, I'm not mm-hmm. trying to be mm-hmm. just even saying that. Yeah. It's like, you know, I just wanted to meet, meet no, but you. Some guys, diffuse the situation. Like, I had recently this guy come up to me just being like, you know, I'm like sitting up on like a couch and he comes up to me talking really fast. Like, oh, like almost like he's angry at me already. But like we, you j- like Andrew just, yeah, probably before, just yeah. like sat in the bathroom watching Andrew Tate videos and ran out and came shocked to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I didn't even know what he was saying, but I'm trying to tell him, like, like no, thank you. And I'm very nice about it usually. Like, in the past when I was younger, I wasn't that nice about it. And I realized, you know, not a great way to be. So I'm just saying to him, like, no, like, listen, like, no, it's fine. Like, no, thank you. Like, basically, I don't know what else to say. And he was like, do you know who I am? I'm like, I, d- I don't, sir. <laughs> no, I don't. And he's like, Google me, Google me. And now I actually don't, he didn't really think that through because he didn't tell me his name. So I don't know what I was going to like take a picture of him and like Google search the image. I don't know. 